Hi. Over 500 deaths a week by, as a direct result of the national health crisis. Yet it's barely mentioned in comparison to the level of uncontrollable hysteria unleashed by the latest episode of the War of the Windsors. The calls? The Harry Tome. Spare. A couple of video casts ago, I thought, just maybe, we'd reach the peak of media irrationality. I was wrong. The media, in all its forms, has simply gone berserk. Pundits, royal experts, commentators, all royalists to the core, have been claiming, due to their elevated position, the rest of the royal family can't reply. Q, 20 pages of some papers devoted to defending them and attacking H and M. Likewise, radio, TV channels such as GB News, Talk TV have, have non-stop coverage spurred on by the accidental release of this book in Spanish. Even in this modern age, so-called, there are still sections of our population who believe that the monarchy are semi-divine, a feudal hangover, but maybe they've even gone back even further in time, treating them like flesh and blood human gods, pharaonic style the ultimate in celebrity culture. Rational argument has become irrelevant when it comes to this institution. Certainly the Harry spotlight has shown them to be completely dysfunctional, emotionless, entirely propped up by thousands of paid flunkies, from footmen to journalists, politicians, the establishment who maintain their extensive power, and it's not just ceremonial. It's a form of mafia, and Harry has broken the code of a murder. And I don't think we've heard everything by a long shot. Could this be all the first, this first chink that truly begins to shift the deferential mass psychology of the British? If we are ever to overthrow this feudal capitalist system UK, we have to start at the very top, and the rest will follow. In the medieval period, royal family squabbles were settled on the battlefield thousands slain. World War I, with millions killed, maimed, was partially an extended royal houses of Europe dispute, and of course they were all related. Troops defending king, kaiser, emperor, czar, even before country. Were this present extended bout of insanity to end? William and Harry factions fighting on the streets? Or maybe we should just rid ourselves of every royal and aristocrat, appropriate their land and wealth and put it to better use, and put an end to the grovelling and class-paced inferiority complexes for once and for all. Or at least make a start. Bye.